Hi there, it's Dr. Jones here. And I wanted to hop on really quick and do a public service announcement um, about online dating. And one of the things that has happened, or you know, one, one of the things to be mindful of, I should say, about online dating is it's very easy for people to hide and be deceptive about who they truly are. Um, and so some of the, it doesn't matter how good you are or how much you try to vet a person out, um, they could truly be deceptive um, in their intentions and just who they are online because you are essentially meeting a stranger. So one of the things that I've noticed that has happened is that there is um, a very high uptick in men and women who are married using online dating apps and portraying themselves as being single. Um, and that's not the um, extent of it. So they will go even further to assume um, the single person's identity. Um, you know, they may even rent or borrow someone else's place um, so that when you're dating and you think that you're going to someone's place, um, you're not actually going to the place where li they live, but maybe um, a place where they may be renting through Airbnb or um, through, you know, where they may be um, asking to borrow a friend's place. Um, they may be using a different name, um, a different work identity, and just, um, you know, lying about who they really are. So be mindful of who you're dating um, and that's something to keep in mind um, and also too um, just because you may meet a person's friends or family uh, that also doesn't mean that they're not in on the lies or that they're not accustomed to this person bringing around many different um, dating prospects um, but lying about who they are the whole time sometimes Families and friends um, may support the person that um, you're dating um, about their, you know, with their false identity and so forth. So that is something to be mindful of as well. And that has nothing, um, there's nothing that, um, and it's not your fault essentially, but um, just be very savvy, um, do your due diligence and research and, you um, continue to thoroughly vet who a person is so and i just want to let you guys um, be aware uh, of that and date safely um, me personally um, you know as a mental health professional i actually don't recommend um, you know women especially um, do online dating i actually recommend um, you know it's nothing wrong with it if you choose to do it but you know I, if you're dating seriously for marriage and things like that, I recommend that people, um, you know, meet people at networking events or, or at in-person events or things like that, or either through referrals of someone that you may already know. Um, but definitely um, do your due diligence and um, thoroughly check a person's background. Um, and if they seem too good to be true, if they're unavailable or there's something um, that's amiss and you can't quite put your finger on it, um, that's probably um, a signal. All right, thank you so much.